Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another live here at my YouTube channel. Uh, my name's Christina Werner. If you're new, welcome, welcome. Um, today I'm going to be using some new products that just hit my craft room. I'm going to kind of do a mix of different brands. Should be really fun, so I hope you'll stay tuned. So these are the products that have hit my craft room recently. I've got three brand new things from Concord and Ninth. There's this uh, stencil pack, and it'll do kind of a three-dimensional greeting. I thought it just looked really, really cool. So we're gonna try that out. They had a similar type of stencil set in their, um, it was exclusive to their holiday class this year, and I was a teacher and I got to work with it, and I just loved the stencil so much. So I'm driving with this, this looks great. And then this is the die set that coordinates with it, so you can cut out the outer area of the big hugs and add a secondary greeting. So I'm planning to add a secondary greeting on mine as well. Um, and this is the stamp set that kind of kind of goes inside the, the, or the, inside the little banner. This is the stamp set that goes with it. Don't need the die yet, but this stencil set, I think it has four stencils in it. Yeah, there's four. And they've, they're really smart about it. They like, can you see that label up there at the top? It says layer one. So you know exactly how to put it all together. I've got four colors of ink from Simus' stamp. I'm going to use the pink inks for the actual words. And then the shadow, you can see right here, there's a shadow and I thought I would do that in gray. really cool. All right. I love how three dimensional that looks. I almost want to take the, the stencil that did the center one and like stamp like a really tiny itty bitty dot. Wouldn't that be cool? Or I guess I could add that with, um, markers. Let's do that. Okay, yeah, where I added them at first, it's really fading back. Looks really fun though. Oh, it is like the exact width of like an A2 card. Well, I'm planning to put this on a five by seven anyway, so I guess that's good, right? 
Oh, and it just barely didn't get that edge because it was hanging off the edge. That's okay. That's nothing to do with the die itself. I think the die is fine. It's just the, it was hanging off this edge. Actually, do I want a bossing welder? No, I need something that's like a really bold background. I need, okay, hold on. And it's five by seven. So all of my six by, all of my uh, six by six stencils will not work. I've got a bunch of big stencils that I'm gonna choose from. Oh, something like this could be fun. And then I'm going to go grab sea glass ink from Concrete at Night because like the same color on top of the ink would be great. Love that. That was a good choice. So that's going to be adhered to card front. I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to cut it down yet. So I'm just going to adhere it as is. Put some foam tape on the back of this. I totally forgot we have a secondary grading to stamp and die cut. Before I do that, I need to die cut this little banner because I need to figure out where it's going to go. I'm grabbing some peacock cardstock. There we are. Using my anti static powder tool. I'm using Versamark ink. And then I'll use some white embossing powder. This is alabaster embossing powder from British Monroe. They always put these little tabs up here to show that that's the way that should be pointing up. I'm getting it centered. And now we have a little banner shape which I believe, yes, it does have score marks on it. So you can make it into an actual banner. I'm gonna put this about right here. And then I think I'm gonna just put a little bit of foam tape right underneath it. Move the backing and then before I put it on, I'm gonna put just a little bit of glue under, or I should say, on the ends. Put it down just like that. Clean up the little glue. I love that. So now I'm gonna just trim this down. It's not gonna be square. I thought maybe it would be square, but I think it's gonna be just a little bit taller. In fact, it's not so bad. I just hate this area at the bottom that like, it just doesn't look quite right to me. So, <laughs> I am going to use a T-square ruler and I'm going to cut this with a craft knife. Okay. Oh yes. I love that spacing so much more. You know, it looks like the cover of a book. <laughs> it looks like the cover of a book to me. I'm trying to figure out what exactly I'm going to do on the envelope.
we're, we're going to do this. Okay. Grabbing the N1. Because we're going for the retro look, right? I was making this a little bit more uniform, but I'm just going to make it really random now. In fact, you know what? Yeah, I am. Every once in a while, I'm going to have a little heart. Turn a couple of the dots into little hearts. Okay, I like that. Just a little something. So here is the card and envelope for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I really loved this stencil set, so retro looking, and I kind of love this envelope that came out uh, at the end here as well. So big thank you for watching. I will see you guys next week. I'm hoping to have an update on my craft room cleanup uh, at the beginning of the week, hoping for Monday. We'll see uh, how far I get on that. But thank you so much for joining me. I will see you in another video very soon.